Okay guys, um, clearly, you see, I did a thing. I did a big thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, all right, I know this video is overdue as well, but I posted a teaser showing that I had um, went violet um, a while back, you know, I, with the color on and everything. However, when I did that video, the color ended up coming really dark. Um, it really just wasn't as vibrant as it needed to be. So I ended up having them go back a few weeks later, which is why it took so long for me to come back. And they actually ended up doing a red violet because in this particular brand, the red violet had the ability to both lift and deposit color. And so the front of my hair was darker, so it actually is like a legit violet now versus the sides are like a sort of maroon. And then the very back, of course, we've got like an actual like reddish color happening. And hopefully you can kind of get a good feel for the, sh the accurate shade of the color. I will do a 360 before the end of the video, I promise. I know everybody's been asking about that. Um, but yeah, so I also will, before I go to the end of the video, I have a, a short little project we were working on at school um, when it comes to social media where I went ahead and recorded little snippets of the whole process and that will be at the very end as well. So I will do a 360 and you'll get that. But before I do that, let me talk about what we did to get here. First, we went ahead and lifted my hair using bleach, uh, not store bought obviously, but lightener, we used lightener, to go ahead and lift my hair further up. Not all the way to the roots, we left about an inch or two out um, in certain areas, but that was just to help the color take a little bit better. That was the mindset. Um, because normally if your hair is black and you're trying to go to a more vibrant color, you're gonna have a lot of difficulty. Or if you have really dark, dark hair, um, it's not, it's not that it won't take, but it's gonna take a lot more. Um, and if you just lift, you're gonna get more accurate to the actual color. So we thought, okay. So we lifted that and then we waited a couple of weeks, maybe about two, three weeks. Um, part of that was just because I wanted to make sure I gave my hair a rest. I know they said, oh, it's semi-permanent, you know, blah, 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 or permanent or whatever. You know, but for me, I'm adding chemical to my hair. I wanna take my time. I wanna really make sure that my hair has time to rest in between, you know. I didn't just go through all this to get my locks like this for them to fall out, you know, over some color. And so, um, yeah, so I did that. And uh, after that, we went with the violet. And like I said, it went really dark. Uh, but my hair wasn't damaged at all. But all of a sudden, it just turned darn near black. And you will see that picture at the end of the video. Like I said, we ended up going back with the red violet. But I ended up waiting another couple of weeks after that. So at this point, it's been almost me like two months post retwist. And I was just like, Ugh. but um, cause you know, I was just, my hair was getting tangled. It was a lot, but it was well, well worth the wait. Um, just letting you know, if you have a lot of hair like I do, if you do, I mean, I have like 144 locks um, and just a lot and they're kind of long or getting long at this point, you're gonna need a lot of color. Like they were really surprised. They thought, oh, you know, six ounces would be enough. I think that was like maybe three tubes, two and a half, three tubes combined with the actual developer because when you're using professional color you're mixing the developer and the actual color and they thought that would be enough that didn't even cover a third of my head so for next time i do know that to comfortably color my hair or if i do need to do a touch up or whatever to do a whole head of my hair my length my thickness everything else i probably would comfortably need about six tubes of color Thankfully, we were able to make it work. They mixed it and um, added a little bit more developer towards the end there, but it was able to really come up with a beautiful color. Commonly asked questions, we used a line, I think made by Matrix. Um, it's called the So So Red, Red Violet. Um, how long do we leave it on? We actually went kind of in sections. Um, so they started with the back, which is another reason why the back is more vibrant. That part was the lightest to begin with, and so, it was only left on, I think maybe about like, I think it was about 30 to 40 minutes. And then the part in the middle section, they applied that one, that was left on maybe about like 25 to 30. And then the last part was only left about 20 minutes. So it ended up giving it a nice little transition, little shade. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything I can think of with the hair color. Let me go and give you a quick 360 so I can add in um, the part at the end without this video getting too long, okay? So here is a side shot of my hair and I'll kind of lift up so you can see. Okay. And there is the back. Okay. And I'll lift it up so you can see that as well. As far as how vibrant it is in the back. Okay. All right. My other side. Okay. 
and back to the front. Like I said, I really like it. It's not too bright, which is what I needed for work. Well, hello, handsome. <laughs> it wasn't too bright vibrant for work. You know, I didn't need anything too loud. And so I ended up retwisting after. So you'll see a bunch of photos, my hair non-retwisted and colored. And obviously you're seeing it now with my full retwist, but that is pretty much what I've been up to, guys. So I will go ahead and record a separate video talking about my four-year lock anniversary. So stay tuned for that, okay? All right, bye.